what's up my good people you guys are welcome back um in today's class i think i will teach you guys how to cut a mammoth skirt it's very very simple and easy just calm down and um, follow it gradually this is the measurement i'm using waist 36 hip 44 then skirt length 40 then the knee length is 38. Meanwhile, you know the way we'll get our round knee measurement. You minus six inches from whatever you have from your hip uh, measurement. So, all you need to do is um fold your fabric into two like this, depending on how wide you want the down part to be. So, I'm actually using... Um, 16 inches it doesn't have a standard measurement you can decide to use um 17 18 19 20 you understand so depend on how wide you want the down part to be so i think the moderate one the 16 16 inches is okay let me just put it that way the moderate one 16 inches is okay so all you need is um your hip line, which is nine inches constant, then your knee line, just eighteen. I'm using eighteen inches for my knee line. So now your hip measurement divided by four, knee measurement divided by four, then waist measurement divided by four plus the two two inches allowance. Two two inches sewing allowance. Same thing applicable here. Then on the waistline, the same thing. You know this knee line. Some some people. Let me just say, many people use this twenty inches. But when your flay starts from, or let me just say, when your opening is starting from, um, let's say a little bit above your knee. It has more fitting than when it's starting exactly on your knee. It doesn't really look good. So now from here you open it to that last edge of the fabric. From the knee part. Just open it to that last part. Last edge of the fabric. So this upper part now, you know, definitely you're going to take um, one inch in. For your front slant you're going to give it a little curve just cut one inch deep then you cut out the shape this down now it won't really be nice if you're leaving it straight so all you need to do is just take three inches upward measure three inches on this side and you curve this way so at least this skirt you have a round a round shape so i think it's better this way instead of leaving it straight so just not the knee then you know the the hip measurement area so i'm cutting the back now you know the back it's a mermaid um scale so definitely the back is going to be longer very very long longer than the um the front so you are good you are definitely going to use the longest part of the fabric you are going to use the longest part of the fabric so that you'll be able to achieve um whichever length you want the back to be so leaving it this way now the back might not be as wide as you want it and when it is not too wide enough, you will not achieve the longness at the back. This down part has to be longer, then the back part has to be wider. So since I'm using um, this as a pattern, let me just let me just cut one piece for the back. Cut one piece for the back. 
so you place the front on the remaining fabric like this so meanwhile the back now if you like okay look at this just this shape like this we're going to follow the same meanwhile you're leaving one inch because of the back that just one inch extension at the back you are leaving one inch extension at that back then if you look at um if you look at this back now you can decide to make this place eight inches or maybe ten inches then this down part too it has to be higher than the front width either eight or ten inches yeah like this look at the zip allowance two inches on the hip line 2.5 because of the butt allowance on the knee line two inches then this back it can be either eight or ten inches depends on how how long you want it so whatever you are leaving behind is what you are leaving at this down part too, so that you can have that tail that long tail at the back so as simple as that a mammal skirt is not it's not that difficult so that's that all you need to just open it up join the two sides then you're good to go if you like you can still make it um as wide as this just extend it if you like you just leave it like this thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe